it is time for your main event. This match is a singles competition scheduled for one fall. One fall. And it is for the Without a Cause Stallions Championship. Stallions champion Keita Murray asking for the microphone. So, you might be a little confused as to why Izzy James wrestled earlier and I didn't challenge him when it was already announced. You too good. said it for me. If Izzy James thinks he could walk into my house and get a shot at my championship, uh -uh, he's wrong. So tonight, I gave myself a night off. But, but as much as I deserve it, you all deserve to be graced with my presence. So, I want to come out here and make an announcement about next month. <laughs> Like oh my goodness! Stallion's champion had a message, had something to say, but has been uh, interrupted here. Somebody has answered the call. Trey Lamar. Great to see Trey Lamar here without a cause. Big Starks brand representing once again. They're we, all over the show. How Cody. do we get onto this, Big Starks brand? Nah, I forgot to tell you. Does anyone sponsor commentators? <laughs> I mean, we talk enough about stuff. We can push it. I will shill for you. Now, judging by the reaction, I can tell a little bit. I mean, a few of you guys aren't really familiar with me. It kind of hurts me a little bit. But my name is Trey Lamar. Yes, Keita, you do know who I am. I know who you are, Mr. BSB West Coast. That's right, right? Yeah. But who, who put you in this? Like, who, like, what was your initiation? Huh? Did they, Did they jump in for BSB? Well, just so you guys know, I am one of the core members and one of the very first of the BSB. I'm not, I'm not the champ. That's why I wanted to come out here. Since, Kita, you don't have any initiation into this. Since, you don't have a match tonight. Since I don't, I thought maybe 
Look me and you for it. Ooh. Look at her right there. Hey, 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 hey. Keita thought he had the night off. You know, for someone with the night off, yeah, it looks like he's going to maintain that night off, apparently. Ooh. It looks like the champ does want it. We had a show that we thought was almost over, but we have another main and event, Cody. Surprise, surprise. Well, after the challenger from the Hall of Fame city of Canton, Ohio, representing the Alex Shelley Art Collective, Trey the And his opponent, to my right, he is the key to professional wrestling, the key to success, and the key to your heart. But more importantly, he is the reigning and defending, without a cause, Stallions champion, Kita! to show and Trey what this is all about. The beautiful title belt that he holds. He's going to have his hands full. Match is underway and Kita doing a little bit of a cocky Move there, having his back turned to his uh, opponent here. Almost paid for it dearly in the opening moments, but no. Here we go. Looking for uh, who can get the upper hand here. As Lamar going for some collegiate wrestling here, has a, a, a rear waist lock locked in. Transitioning into a front waist lock, spinning through. Nicely done. Beautiful gator roll. This kid is no slouch. You may have recently seen him uh, on AEW. You might know his name as a student of the Garganos. Yes, trained with both Candice LeRae and Johnny Gargano. And with skills like that, you're seeing it. Peter Murray, though, is our without a cause inaugural stallion champion. Both these gentlemen jockeying for position. Old school classic wrestling here. Going for the legs, going for the double leg. Up and over goes, goes Trey. Oh, we're at a standoff. Greco right. Roman knuckle lock. These guys have been taking it old school. Nicely done. I don't know if you saw that, but Lamar took his eyes off of Murray for just one second, paid attention to the crowd, and that was the only second that Tita Murray needed. Got him into his a way out. hammer lock and a wrist lock, it looks like. Getting both arms trapped. Single leg takedown by Lamar. Trey Lamar has that leg trapped. Has the other one as well. Nice submission style here. Look at that. Putting one knee on the bottom leg. Almost giving the champion nowhere to go but to tap. The look of fear on the champ's face says a lot. Yeah, I don't know if Keita was expecting this. <laughs> Locking up in the middle of the ring. Going for the arm is the champ. Spins out. Ooh. Has wow. that wrist control. So one way to pop an arm out of its socket. We've seen a lot of BSB versus BSB tonight. 
You gotta wonder if it's gonna be an awkward uh, gathering next time they all meet up at the family reunion. <laughs> Nicely done. Quick up and over. I thought he was going for a nicer cradle, but instead somehow transitioned into a suplex attempt. But the champ was one step ahead. Kicks Trey right in the stomach. Gets the waist locked in. Holds onto that top rope. Looks for a back elbow, but the champ had other plans. Rolls through. Nice pinfall. Counter the counter. You gotta be careful with cocky pinfall attempts like that almost. You can easily end up in a pinning predicament yourself. Looking for some Boston action possibly. Catches the right. Goes behind. Akita was almost a key lock. A key to lock, if you will. Yes, sir. Lamar rolls him through, kicks him right to the gut. I don't care who you are, that'll stop you in your tracks. 100%. It'll wind you for just enough of a amount of time. Wind him up for a beautiful chop. Yep. Kick to the face. Akita, focus in on that left arm. Taking a little bit of a, a few liberties there against the ropes. Thunderous chop. We've heard quite a few tonight. Going low, looking to trip him up, but Lamar saw it coming. Going into the surfboard, it looks like, Cody. Yeah, it does. But the Trey Lamar wisely keeping that right shoulder up off the mat. Avoiding himself getting pinned out here. Good call, good call. Perfect body placement as he is just wrenching the spine of Kita. But wait a minute, keep an eye on his shoulders. He can only hold on for so long. Side steps him up. Oh, hip toss attempt. Kita landed on one foot. Looking for a back body drop. Up and over. Up and over. One more time. Oh, and sends him into the middle rope. He uses that middle rope to send him back into the ring and levels him with a drop kick. I have never seen something like that. That was amazing. Trey Lamar. If any of these fans tonight and without a cause did not know the name Trey Lamar when they leave tonight, you can bet your ass they will. 100%. Unceremoniously, Keita's delivered to the outside. Chopping on the floor. Referee is trying to get these guys back in the ring, but I have a feeling they have a lot more damage to inflict out there. And I was right. The fan base does not appreciate the referee trying to get this under control. They appreciate the violence. Ooh. Shoulder into post. Referee starting to count. He gave him a lot of time. He gave him almost like 20 seconds there to get back in the ring before he started because much like me and you and everyone here, no one wants to see this title match end on a count out. Yeah, referee showing a little bit of leniency. And Trey Lamar showing quite a bit of malice, throwing Keita directly into the second row through the first row. And that's when the cheat seats become the front row, baby. I think Max is going to have to charge them for meet and greets now. <laughs> nice backbreaker. Followed up by a backstabber. Oh, he was trying to bridge out of that pin, but got chopped right in the midsection for his, uh, for his troubles there. He did just paint brushing Trey Lamar. He's down, but he's not out, Beak. The Stallions champion is in a bad way, but he is still in this matchup. He has been a fighting champion. You gotta give him credit. Devastating forearm to the kidney area. Ouch. 
referee checking on the champ as the challenger has him picturely perfect with the knee to the spine, hands under the chin, just wrenching and wrenching away. And directly in the middle of the ring. But the champ fighting his way out. Dodges that lariat attempt. And into a vintage abdominal stretch. It's classic and it does the trick. Oh, look at that. Knuckles to the ribs. Insanely malicious trailer bar sh showing he has no concern or care. Got to the rope. You saw how quickly Lamar was to break that, to try and transition into another, another hole, but instead ends up running right into the boot of the Stallions champion who is calling for possibly a Tornado DDT. No. Tornado suplex, Cody. Beautiful. Only a one count, impressive kick out. Trey Lamar has quite a bit of fight left in him, evidently. You know, it might have served the best to let give himself another second and wait for that two count. Nicely done by the champion. Trying to hyper extend that arm while simultaneously trying to rip it out of the shoulder socket. He's got to the count of five. And he worked that four count to the limit. And that arm is now the target beat. He ain't looking too hot where he has nowhere to go. Lamar just getting kicked in the corner there. Yeah, he's had his sights set on that left arm and now really ramping up the offense. Got it cranked against that bottom rope and pulling. When I say rope, I mean cable. That's that's no rope. Ouch. Incredible chop. Don't call Lamar out just yet. He's still chopping away. Answered. Blow for blow. Hit for hit. Into the rope because the champ runs into a pump kick. Another, Another. pump kick sends him to the, the floor. Keep your eyes on over. Challenger with a huge punt sending Dita Murray down on the floor. Kick was good. Referee trying to get the competitor to get both back in the ring. Can't win the match for Trey Lamar on the outside. Nice chin breaker. Rolling through, Lamar! Brain Buster! Incredible rolling into that Brain Buster. That was a beautiful transition. Wow. wow. <laughs> like you said, Cody, they, the crowd may have not known Trey's name before this match, but they're not going to soon forget. Trey Lamar making an impact here without a cause. Rise of the Dragon 2. Trey Dragon key to the center of the ring. He does not go in without a fight. Champ hits the rope. Champ walks right into a huge chop. Lamar hits the rope. Lamar runs right into a huge slam. Beautiful knee. Here. That's what I was about to say. Lamar was out. He fires back with a vicious combo. Flurry of offense by Trey Lamar. Rolls through. Pele kick. Right on the money. For what it's worth, I think the champ saw it coming, got his hands up, but I do not know if it was enough to stop the total brute force 
of that Pele kick. Referee administering the, administering the 10 count and Trey Lamar is already to his feet. Keita Murray slowly making his way. Champs up in the corner as the challenger is now taking him up to the top rope. Trey Lamar has something in mind and I think we're about to find out just what exactly that is. Trey Lamar getting key to position just correctly. What do we have here? Maybe a superplex? Keita fighting his way out, but looks like Trey still has control. We are at the, the highest point you can go. Wait a minute, Keita's got the hand. Keita's not going down without a fight, Beak. Oh my. What does Keita have in mind? Got himself locked in a hammerlock. These guys are in a very bad place. Top rope. And they both went down. And they went down hard. The key is up. Incredible. That was an ugly, ugly landing for both competitors. Almost a hammerlock. You're a Navi from the top rope. Got the double underhook. Tiger driver. No! Are you I, I thought that was it. Keep your eyes on Keita. He's thinking something. Trey definitely took the worst of that fall off the top rope. The champion is cooking up something. He is thinking of some way to finally put Lamar to rest. Maybe a front face off suplex. Lamar drops to one knee, this time shoving him to the rope, takes him to the corner. Refer trying to separate him. Keita delivering some forearms to the back and the ribs. Uh -oh. Not where you want to be. Here's Trey Lamar on the apron. Look at that, hooking the leg under the bottom rope there. Smartly. Trey Lamar. He'll got a lot of fight left in him, Beak. Hung's Keita over the top rope. It's a Gary to the back of the head. Using that top rope for just a little bit of leverage. And the champ in a bad, bad way as the challenger is getting up. He's getting high. Trey Lamar! Frog splash elbows. Froggy bow, back. baby. Froggy bow. Classic. Oh, he's looking to tame, tame the stallion. He's looking to tame the stallion, baby. The leverage of that spine and the knee placement. Can Keita Murray hold on? Oh, he made it. Over made to the, the bottom rope. Lamar says no. Trey's saying no. Drake back out. Small package. Oh. Ray Lamar almost got a little bit too cocky there. Pulling him off of the road. Lion Tamer again! Wrenching on him! Whoa! Wait a minute, what is, what is Titus Alexander doing out here? What is Titus doing here? What, the, the distraction from Titus Alexander did not, the ref didn't see that the champ tapped. Trey Lamar had this. What? The fans. The referee has his back turned and a low blow by the champ what is, to Trey Lamar who, Trey who Lamar. had this match won, Cody. Why, why don't, I don't know why Titus just did that. But I think he just, I think he may have cost Lamar this matchup. It rolls him over. I spoke too soon. 
That was very, very close. And that was even closer. Key to the champ is on top. Three. That's all she wrote. Trey Lamar put up one hell of a fight, but that distraction from Titus Alexander was enough to give Peter Murray the opportunity. I feel if Titus wasn't involved, we'd have a new Stallion champion. Tita! Tita saw the moment, took advantage of it, and whether you like it or not, he is still the without a cause Stallion champion. Champ's asking for a mic. Like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. I have an announcement for next month. As you see tonight, as you seen the month before, last night at Relentless Wrestling, I brought this fucking championship to Las Vegas, to Chicago, to Los Angeles, and I'm tired of it. Because I'm on this show, working my ass off, like the championship says, Stallion's Championship. So if your so-called heavyweight champion, Chris Bay, wants to show up, let him know I'm looking for him. So next month, your Stallion Champion will be here. And I'm waiting for your without a cause heavyweight champion, Chris Bay, to be here. So on October 31st, I know you're busy, Chris. I know you got a lot going on. But come see me. Champion versus champion. The challenge has been laid out. Because at the end of the night, Come Halloween night, the key to professional wrestling will be your Stallions champion and your without a cause heavyweight champion. For forever! Tita calling a shot, double champion for life. Calling out Mr. Finesse Club himself, Chris Bay. But the stare down between Keita and Trey Lamar says it all. Incredible showing by Trey. What a night, what a way to end it. My um, name is Cody Von Whistler, by my side. I'm James Vanderbeek. It's been a pleasure to call the action. We will be back here on October 31st for some spooky Wax Streets back action. Ooh, oh my.